I'm Anil Kumar and let me thank all my subscribers and those who watch my channel for their contribution in making this one of the best. Here is a question for my subscriber who wants to understand how to write equation of a line in different situations. So I'm taking up seven, four on this page and three to follow. And let's see how to write equation of a line. So the question here is find the equation of following lines. A. Horizontal line through the point 3 minus 4. Vertical line through 1, 2. Line with x and y intercepts of minus 3. Line perpendicular to x plus 2 y equals to 6 with the same y intercept. Right. So let's look into these four lines first. Beginning with horizontal line. Now that is very confusing at times. Let me draw one horizontal line. Horizontal line through the point 3 minus 4. So let's say 3 minus 4. So we're talking about this kind of a horizontal line where we know that a point is given which is 3 minus 4. So let's say this point is 3 minus 4. So what is the equation of this line? So whenever I draw coordinate axis, we'll assume x and y, x horizontal, y vertical. What we notice here is that the y value is always minus 4 and that gives you the equation of any horizontal line. y value is constant, right? So in general, it is y equals to b. In this case, the y intercept is minus 4. So we say y equals to minus 4 is the answer. Do you get it? Let's look into the second one, which is vertical line through 1, 2. So now let me sketch a vertical line. I'll use the same graph, 1 and 2. And let us say the, the vertical line is x value of 1. So let's assume that x value 1 is kind of here. Okay, so let this be the vertical line for us. And the point could be here, right? So this point is, is 1 and 2 for us. As explained earlier, this time you find that the x value is always 1 and therefore the equation of this line is x equals to 1. So for a vertical line, we look at the x value which remains constant and for a horizontal line, we look at the y value which remains constant. Correct? Now let's move on to the part C which is we are not talking about x and y intercepts to be minus 3. Okay, so again, we'll so sketch a line and then try to figure it out. x intercept minus 3 means somewhere here. y intercept minus 3 means somewhere there, right? So both minus 3 means that we could have a line like this. Is it okay? So that is the line which has x intercept of minus 3 and y intercept of minus 3. Since the y intercept is minus 3, uh, well, let's talk about equations of line. y equals to mx plus b is generally the equation of line. So except for a vertical line, you could write in this form all other lines, correct? So the vertical line we saw, it is x equals to something. For the horizontal line, the y-intercept is minus 4, slope is 0, right? So for this, m equals to 0. So we got the equation y equals to minus 4. For a vertical line, slope is undefined, right? Slope undefined. And therefore, we cannot use this equation. Perfect. And we wrote x equals to whatever constant value of x is. Now let's get back to the other equations where we can definitely use y equals to mx plus b. Now what is the y-intercept? Y-intercept is minus 3, right? So we know b is minus 3. How about the slope? It is going downwards. Slope is negative, right? So for any line, we try to find slope and the y-intercept. And for this line, we have the slope m as equals to rise over run, which is minus 3 consider this triangle, right? Consider this triangle. So when you go move from point A to B, let's say A is here to B, 
rather I should move like this we go down minus 3 and run is to the right 3 is that okay so we get slope of minus 1 the y intercept v is minus 3 and therefore the equation is y equals to minus x because it is m is minus 1 minus 3 do you see that so that becomes the equation of this particular line you could also write it in standard form taking x to this side uh, and you could write this as x plus y plus 3 equals to 0 that is in standard form okay part d line perpendicular to y plus 2y equals to 6 and same y intercept so let's do part b d in details we are talking about a line which is x plus 2y equals to 6 let us rearrange to get slope intercept form so we get 2y equals to minus x plus 6 dividing by 2 we get y equals to minus half x 6 divided by 2 is 3 so clearly here we have slope which is minus half right so slope of this line is minus half and the y intercept is 3 we want perpendicular line so for a perpendicular line what should be the slope negative reciprocal right so slope of a perpendicular line reverse it so you get 2 change the sign it becomes plus we want the same y intercept so b is 3 for us is that okay now knowing slope and y intercept you can always write the equation of a line correct and therefore the equation of the line is y equals to slope of 2 so we get 2x and the y intercept is 3 plus 3 now this is very important x plus 2y equals to 6 do not jump at 6 being the y intercept right try to figure it out same as the case with this slope correct so what we learned here is uh, perpendicular lines if I multiply these two what do I get m times m perpendicular will give you minus 1 or we can say slope of perpendicular line is negative 1 over slope of the line correct so that's the learning which we get for perpendicular lines now let us move on and see some more equations for lines okay so this time the question is find the following uh, find the equation of following lines in standard form so we concentrated in slope intercept form earlier now we will write it in standard form which is ax plus by plus c equals to 0 right so that is the equation of line in standard form a is always positive that's the idea okay the first one here is passing through the point 2 3 with slope of 1 so let me begin by writing this equation in slope and intercept form so we can say y equals to mx plus b right mx plus b then we know slope is 1 and the point is 2 3 so we can write this as y equals to x plus b since the point is 2 3 I substitute 2 for x 3 for y so we get 3 equals to 2 plus b and then we can say 3 minus 2 which is 1 so b is 1 so once we get all this we can write the equation as y equals to x plus 1 correct we get an equation this equation is not standard form right and this method which we have been following uh, is not very good to get equations in standard form so how do you get equations in standard form so let me go through this process once again all right so if you are finding equation in standard form then we'll start from here that slope is you can write as uh, y minus y1 over x minus x1 and when you cross multiply you get m times x minus x1 equals to y minus y1 now this is a better equation to use if you want 
equation in standard form, right? So I added all this so that you understand why we sometimes use slope intercept form and sometimes that form of an equation. Well, you have seen the process, right? Now let's use this equation. Slope is given to us as 1, so I replace m by 1, right? Let me change the ink. And x and y is 2 and 3, right? So we know this is x1, let's say, and this is y1. And we know m equals to 1. So let's make this replacement and write down the equation. So 1 time x minus 2 equals to y minus 3. The idea is to bring all the terms to one side with x as positive. So we write this as x minus 2 minus y plus 3 equals to 0. And that gives you x minus y plus 3. Uh, I mean, sorry, 3 minus 2 is 1. So let me write 1 here itself to save one step. Otherwise, you bring them together and then do the needful. And here also you will observe, I can take y to the right side and I can write x minus y plus 1 equals to 0. We get exactly the same answer, right? And almost the same number of steps, you can see. Almost the same number of steps. So you could follow this method or that method. It gives you the same result. Now let's do the next question, which is passing through the point 2, 3 and 5, 6. So what we will do here is we'll find slope first and then find the y-intercept, correct? So let me solve part B in this area. We have the points 2 and 3, 6 and 5. So let's find the slope first. So m will be y2 minus y1. Let's say 5 minus 3 divided by 6 minus 2, 6 minus 2. 5 minus 3 is 2, and 6 minus 2 is 4, right? Which could be written as half. So we have half as the slope. We could use any point to write the equation. 2, 3 is a good point to use. Simpler. Now we'll use the equation m times x minus x1 equals to y minus y1. m is half for us. So we'll write half x minus 2 equals to y minus 3. Is it okay? Now we could cross multiply, right? So we have x minus 2 equals to 2y minus 6. And now we can bring the terms together to get the equation. And the equation will be, let's write it down as, keep x here. Since x is positive coefficient, bring 2y to the left minus 2y Minus 6, when you bring here, it becomes plus 6, plus 6 minus 2. Let me write plus 6 minus 2 equals to 0. And now my final answer, which is x minus 2y, plus 6 minus 2 is 4, plus 4 equals to 0. So that becomes the equation of this line. Is it okay? Right. Let's solve part C. Passing through origin, slope is 1.5 right slope is 1.5 m is given to us as 1.5 which you could write as 3 by 2 which is 1.5 is it okay we have to write equations in standard form we prefer to use m times x minus x1 equals to y times y y1 so using this equation which is m times x minus x1 let me rewrite this equals to y minus y1 Slope is 3 over 2. So whenever we are working with fractions, this form of equation is better to write in standard, which you will appreciate with the example. So it is x minus, since we are going through origin, the point is 0, 0, right? So it is x minus 0 equals to y minus 0. So when you cross multiply, we get 3x equals to 2y, bringing them together, right? Because the, because the zeros, we get 3x minus 2y equals to 0. So that becomes the answer for part C, correct? So for part C, we have the solution right there. So I hope with these seven examples, you now understand how to write equation of a line from given conditions 
in slope intercept form or in standard form feel free to post comments share my videos and if you like that'd be great thank you and all the best